Cooper Marcher here. The skies over Lake Champlain have been the site of several disappearances, with the first aircraft vanishing over the lake in 1936. 27 planes are known to rest on the lake bed. Shortly after takeoff on a late night flight to Providence, Rhode Island on January 27, 1971, an almost brand new Rockwell twin engine flown by an experienced pilot disappeared from radar at about 5,000 feet over the middle of Lake Champlain. Repeated attempts to reach the plane via radio went unanswered and search and rescue efforts began in the early hours of January 28th. These proved fruitless despite repeated searches over the years the plane and its five occupants have never been found. I wonder, is he out there, said Frank Wilder of Pennsylvania at the 50th anniversary memorial service, January 27th, 2021, in Shelburne, Vermont, to honor the victims of, an, of the unsolved plane crash. With my father, I don't know where he is. Sometimes I wonder, did he really die, he said. The remains of Wilder's father, who is also named Frank, are somewhere in the lake. So is the wreckage from the crashed plane that has never been found. George Nikita, Donald Myers, Randy Williams, and Kirby Windsor also vanished the evening of January 27th. I don't have closure, Wilder said. I don't think any of the families have closure. Until we actually find the plane, we won't have closure. The evening of the crash was just before a nasty snowstorm. The real estate developers from Atlanta had wrapped up their time in Vermont, scoping out a possible project in Burlington. Their private twin-engine corporate jet vanished shortly after takeoff, with no known distress signal sent. It's exceptionally unusual for Vermont, says Brian Linder, a historian who studies aviation disasters. Linder said early investigators did find some degree debris washed up following the plane's disappearance, including a wheel. In the summer of 2014, when renewed efforts launched using sonar and underwater robots, there were still no breakthroughs. The So much of it looked I'm sorry, <laughs> past searches have included Vermont State Police, New York State Police, and private citizens interested in search and recovery. Lake Champlain is a large body of water to mount a search in. It's 12 miles wide at its widest point and 400 feet deep at its deepest, according to the Lake Champlain Land Trust. Facts about the lake on the organization's website also show the body of water is 120 miles long with 587 miles of shoreline. There are still pockets that haven't really been searched or researched, Linder noted. Barbara Nikita's uncle, George Nikita, piloted the plane. 50 years is a long time, but some days it seems like yesterday. Nikita's, who lives in California, is asking people from the Champlain Valley if they have any old information that could help the search shrink the search zone. After so many years of not knowing what happened, the families of the men on board are optimistic that they will finally bring a new dawn of healing. I'm so hopeful, says Coffee. I'm so hopeful. This is just one of the many mysteries at the bottom of our huge lake. Cooper Marcher here. Ciao.